Hey everyone, it's Laura here and we're going to get on with Take Charge Thursday and today we're doing a scrapbook layout and I'm actually so excited to teach you guys a little bit of Laura style scrapbooking. So this is the layout here and this one here has got no photos yet but it's going to be very easy for me to add birthday photos to this one. So the layout that I've created is basically just using four by six photos that we trim down to five and three quarters by three and three quarters and there's spots here for up uh, for four portrait and six landscape and then you can mix and match to suit your photos so you can have your journal box as a portrait or you could have your journal box as a landscape it's completely up to you and you can fill more of the spaces with decorative pieces like this but what's brilliant about it is it does give you a really big amount of room for you to get a lot of photos across the pages so that was that one um, that's got no photos and then of course I've got this one here that's already got the photos so I haven't filled any of the wells with any decorative elements I've just simply done a journal box and then I've just put some decorative elements on the side right so let's not waste any time and let's get into it the beauty about video is I'll tell you things and you can just simply pause me do it and continue to play along so I need two pieces of white desi cardstock as my base for the pages okay and then what I simply need is I need two sheets of colored cardstock to cut the photo mats then I need a color and it can be either a solid color or another decorative piece of paper that we're going to cut out four strips and then we need a decorative piece and I highly recommend this one be decorative that we're going to cut out two pieces so as you can see I've grabbed some scraps and then I've just grabbed a few pieces of um, embellishments from a paper pack which I think are going to suit my layout right so let's start with the photos though because we know what the photos are actually going to be so I've already gone ahead and I've actually pre-cut some of them so you don't have to watch me cut all of them but they're all going to start as uh, a four by six and I'm simply just going to trim them down to five and three quarters by three and three quarters so you only have to take off an inch off the a quarter of an inch off the photo so hopefully by taking one quarter of an inch off you're not going to lose any of the important part it's just the tiniest bit and um, I've explained this in a video already on what is within an inch with the eights. I did that one uh, yesterday. And basically, it's just so that we can aesthetically get uh, a little bit of gapping on the pages, which just looks great. Okay, so just missed the start of that. So as you can see, I'm just taking the tiniest bit off and I'm really not losing any part of my photo. Okay, so once you've got all your photos cut down to five and three quarters by three and three quarters you're going to need to cut the photo mats and on these photo mats um, this is where we're going to play with the eights so we need the photo mats three and seven eighths okay so it's the line before the four okay so three and seven eighths by five and seven eighths you are going to need ten of these so starting off really simple, great um, way to experiment with the three and seven eighths by five and seven eighths because you're going to cut 10 of them. So you should be able to get really good at that by the end of this layout. So three and seven eighths. So it's not the teensy weensy line. It's the other line here that is before the four inches. That's three and seven eighths. Okay. And then the five and seven eighths is the line before the six okay now these can be for nine photo wells um, and then also you're going to have the um, journal box well so it's just easy to go with ten so that's why you need two sheets of cardstock and then you're going to be going to be left over with this one strip here okay so once you've got all of those cut down so here's my ten you just need to go through and just attach all of your photos to those so I'm just going to pop them aside and I will do that in a little bit let's just finish with the cutting so with the um, either cardstock that coordinates or complements we're going to cut four strips out of that they're going to be very narrow two of them are only going to be a quarter of an inch okay so that is the first all the way long line after zero so one quarter of an inch okay 
perfect. Then we're going to need two more strips. This time they're going to be three eighths. So we just cut it a quarter. Now we're going to go to the one that's in between a quarter and a half and that is three eighths. So you're going to need two of those. So let's get two of those cut. Beautiful. All right, so we've got those four strips. So not much out of my scrap paper. Then we're going to need two decorative pieces. I'm going to take my zip strip off at this end because I want this more yellow speckly end rather than the orange end. Okay, so I'm going to trim that down a bit now. Get rid of the white pit. Okay, so this piece here is actually going to be one and one eighth. Okay, so just that little bit wider than one. And I, they, they are specific to these sizes to fit on the page really nicely and aesthetically. Okay, two of those and then we're going to pop that one aside. So I'll just pop those two down there. Okay then. Right, so let's just lay it out and then see how this goes. So what we need on the outside edge is we're going to need the quarter inch piece. And then we're going to need a decorative piece, which we do need to hand cut a little bit in a minute. Then we're going to need two of our photo mats. Okay, and then we need this 3 8 inch piece and then three more photo mats. So of course, as we stick it down, we'll get the perfect gapping, but I like to just lay everything down and just make sure that I've cut everything I need at this stage. All right, and basically we're just gonna re going to replicate that on the right hand side, uh, left hand side as well. Okay, so I'm just going to place them all down, make sure that I've got them correct. Quarter of an inch to the side. Sorry, it's just, just gone off the side of the page. Okay, right. So now that we know that's all correct, I'm going to show you how we're going to cut the decorativeness into this piece here. So what we need to do first of all is we just need to take a quarter of an inch off of this 12 inch strip to make it 11 and 3 quarters. So just take that quarter of an inch off. Then what we're going to do is as if we're dovetailing but we're going to dovetail in the center or where, wherever you so desire. So I'm just going to snip halfway into my strip then I'm going to line my scissors up with that first cut and just cut into the middle like so. And let me just hopefully meet it up. Right, so there we go. So then when we place this onto our page, we place it at the very top and at the very bottom, we get that lovely little chevron look into that water. And then on the other side, I'm going to cut it towards the top so it's in a different area and it's just the exact same process. So just cut that slit and then just make sure I get it in roughly the same angle. If you don't get it 100%, honestly, mine aren't either. It's, it's just a cute little look. Okay, and then now that it's cut, it'll go on the side of my border there. Okay, so that is that so far. Now I'm going to take my photos and just lay them out where I want them to be. And then, okay. So I have got a lot of photos and by the looks of it, it's going to fill, I'm pretty sure the way I worked it out, it's basically going to fill every hole except for one that I'm going to add a decorative piece. Okay. Now these two here are actually um, two portrait ones and I'm going to cut them down to fit them into my landscape. So don't be afraid that if you have to cut it down to fit into a landscape, you can certainly do that. So I've left them on purpose so I can show you. So with the landscape, it is three and three quarters in height. So that's what I'm looking at getting first. 
three and three quarters. Okay, so I'll do one first and then I'll grab another one and do it at three and three quarters. Okay, now the two of them together would be five and three quarters. So what I'm going to do is make it two and seven eighths. And I'm going to make the other one two and seven eighths as well. Trim that one down to two and seven eighths. And then these two will actually fit into my well perfectly like that as if, as if they were a five and three quarter okay so just because my photo well ended up being for for the three and three quarter by five and three quarter for a four by six orientation doesn't mean I can't cut two down and actually fit it into that well hopefully that makes sense right I'm just going to quickly go ahead and um speed up the whole process I'm going to stick all my photos down onto my wells and then I'm going to come back and decorate and stick everything down with you guys all right I'll be back in a sec okay so I'm back and I've stuck down my photos onto my photo wells so let's pop this first page together and then we're going to repeat it on the left hand side so when I stick my photos down I honestly just put a bit of adhesive in each corner with a scrapbook layout uh, it's going to go into a memory protector so it's going to help keep it secure it's not going to be you know catching on anything any fingers anything like that okay so I'm just going to stick my top and bottom one on first uh, and I'm just leaving that lovely little white border around the photos because cutting it down to five and seven eighths gives us that freedom to have that little bit of a border this one here is what's going to hold my journaling box so this is why this one's got no photo on it at this stage. All right, so that lovely little white border is all the way around and in between those mats. Now I'm actually going to stick from the right now and then work my way in to hopefully get an evenish border. So I'm just going to put some adhesive on this black bit of border and yes, I do turn my cardstock over because the nicer cut is on the top side and the not as nice cut is on the underside. So I will turn my cardstock over for that reason. All right, so I'm just aiming to have an equal kind of gap all the way through this page. Just aesthetically just looks nice. Okay, so sticking on this chevron border now. So as you can see, I do put a lot of photos onto a page. I take a lot of photos. I want to use as many as I can. Um, I, there are actually some that still didn't make it to this page and that's okay. As long as I collectively get the majority of the memories on the page and then my journaling is what will tell the story of this. So this was Michael and I in New York in 2019 and we made sure to um, check out Stardust Diner and it's where a lot of Broadway want-to-be's um, that are trying to make it in Broadway actually work at this restaurant because they sing. They sing throughout your service and lots of different songs and they are very, very talented. So they are waitering and waitressing to help them study they all study you know musical theater they study dance they study all sorts of things and um so they are our waiters and waitresses but they entertain us while we're there as well so it was it was lovely and it was really entertaining um the food wasn't as good as i was hoping for i remember it was quite expensive but i guess you know we weren't just paying for food we were paying for entertainment as well okay so there you go that's all stuck down so this is what's going to be the journal box and basically we're just going to cut white daisy cardstock down to the exact same size that was the photos which is three and three quarters by five and three quarters and then we're going that way we end up with the exact same um, border size 
on you know with the, the photo mat okay so that's my white daisy and that's going to go there and that is what I'm going to journal on that part I'm not going to do in the video I'll stick this down because I don't it doesn't matter if I make mistakes I've shown you guys how I cover them up um, so yeah so I'm gonna have that ready there to journal on when I finish the video okay so that is the right hand side page done let's pop that out of the way let's move the left one in and we're going to just do the exact same thing this one here I'm going to put a decorative piece in okay so let me just stick on down a few more of these so the service, um, they sort of get you in and get you out as fast as possible because we did have to queue up outside because it is so popular. And you'll even notice in my photos the change of people that have moved and come and gone in, in that time we had our service. It's different people in the photos um, that are sitting in front of us. So I normally stick the top one down. That's what happens when I'm talking too much and not concentrating. All right, sticking the top one down first. I just find it helps me get my spacing better. That's all. There's no rhyme or reason. You do what makes you feel happy. Okay. And then just stick this middle one in. I have something really cool to show you that I'm going to add onto this page. Hopefully I'll see if I can find the technology to teach you how to do it. Otherwise, I might just have to screenshot how I did it. Okay. Keep you in suspense now. Let's stick down all the rest of these pieces and then I can show you my little extra special thing that I'm going to add to this page. Okay, these tape runners are amazing if you don't own one. I'm so excited that they moved over to this new Tombow because the actual refills have an extra four meters of length on them than the previous Tombow. And when you've been scrapbooking, trying to get as many scrapbook pages done as I have this year, that extra four meters per refill has certainly been a blessing this year <laughs> because I've already gone through quite a few and I could imagine how many more I would have gone through with the older Tombow. Oh, I forgot to take my quarter of an inch off. That's all right. I'll do it now. Quarter of an inch off. See, even I make mistakes. Nothing I couldn't fix. All right. Don't forget with that decorative piece to take that quarter of an inch off so that you get that gap in the middle there. Okay, almost finished the sticking down and then it's just embellishing and journaling. How fast of a layout is this? And we end up with anything up to nine photos across the page. But you know, and if you flip flap, you can get a few more on. Like you could totally add a couple more onto this. You know, we could really bulk out these double pages. Okay, almost there. So you can see why I've done the sizes of my strips as I had. So like I've said, this one here is three eighths. It's just so that everything ends up with a very similar white border between it and it just looks just pleasing. So even though I do simple pages to get my albums completed, I still want them to look pleasing. You know, there's nothing wrong with wanting them to look pleasing. Okay, so there we go. So that's the two pages. Right, so this one here, what I've decided for the decorativeness of it, I'm actually going to go with this decorative piece of this you know designer print paper because I've got enough of it so I'm going to cut it down to the size of a photo which is three and three quarters by five and three quarters I will once I'm finished the video cut out some alphabet letters okay because what I'm going to do I will stick this down is I'm going to give instructions on this little decorative piece because on here I'm actually going to add a couple of QR codes okay so I'm going to place a couple of QR codes what these QR codes do 
is they take whoever's looking at the album at the time and they grab their phone out and they scan over the QR code. It's actually going to take them to a private YouTube video of some of these people singing. So I filmed some of them singing throughout the service, throughout um, our breakfast. And so what's going to be really cool is that um, you can actually scan it and then watch them singing through YouTube so that you get a real feel for what we experienced. So that's what's really cool. If you've taken videos while you've been on any kind of vacation or you've watched a school concert or anything like that, you actually can upload it, make it private on YouTube where you can only view it if you have a link. Then you can take the YouTube link, turn it into a, a, a QR code that takes you to that actual video. So how cool is that? So I'm just going to put um, something along the lines of scan me to see singers or some, something along those lines. Okay, and then I've got um, happy to be here with you because it's the two of us here at breakfast. So that will probably go over there somewhere. Um, plus Mike's got a coffee. So it's breakfast, so little coffee cup there. And um, the party mix to me is very cool because, you know, it's all singing and dancing and it was a gem of a time. So, yeah, so there you go. So I'm going to add my little embellishments. I'm not going to do that in the video because that's something that I will just take a little bit of time to work out exactly where I want to put them and how I want them to sit. But that's the layout, guys. How cool is that? So there you go. I've done, let me see if I can just zoom out a little bit more. I've done this one here, photos from New York, uh, from a diner. Then I've got this sample here that I popped up online, which is a birthday theme. And then this one here is from the top of the Christ the Redeemer. So totally different photos, completely different color schemes. But how good does this layout look? Hopefully you will enjoy creating it for yourself. And um, maybe you'll do it multiple times too because you can see it looks so different every time. Thank you so much for joining me here on Take Charge Thursday. And I look forward to seeing you for week three next Thursday. Bye.